All right, I have made a very important change to my website. Instead of just having this right here, I now have a new little line right here that tells you how to contact me. All right, this is a momentous change. Now we just gotta upload it to my web server right here and get it live. So if I had hosted my website with something like Netlify, I could just uh, commit that and push it up to GitHub and then Netlify would automatically handle the deploy for me. But I'm on my own VPS, so I gotta set up a way to make it a bit automatic so I can just run one command, build the site, and deploy it up to my VPS. So that's what we're gonna do today. So first off, you'll need SSH for this to work. So you'll need to have set up an SSH key pair. And if you've never done this before, if you're just logging into your server with your username and password for some reason, then you can do this with SSH keygen. And you run that, and then it'll kind of guide you through how to create a SSH key on your local computer. So by default, that will put it in your .ssh folder inside your home directory, and then id underscore rsa. So now we just got to push that up to our server. I've already done this, but if you want to do it, you can do ssh copy id dash i and then you put in where your where your ssh key is located this is the default right here this id underscore rsa.pub and we're going to put it up to my ssh so the root user and my server is ericmurphy.xyz so you do that for years and now you should be able to log in to your server with ssh and then your server. So once you have that set up, that's pretty much the only prerequisite that you really need to do. Or wait, there is one more. So you need to actually install rsync, which is what we're gonna be using to copy files from your local computer up there to your VPS. So you do need rsync installed on both your local machine and then on your VPS server. So what I do is I go into here, SSH into my server, and then I'd install it. I'm on a Debian based server, so I'd install it with uh, apt git install rsync. Install that. I've done that already. So let's exit here. And on my local machine, I just do sudo pacman s rsync. All right, that's installed on both machines. So I'm gonna go into my folder and what you wanna do is you wanna create a new script and I called it deploy. So this is gonna be a bash script and so we need to declare it as a shell script by putting this at the top right here, slash bin slash sh. And then what we're gonna do it here is we're just gonna say the user for the SSH login is root uh, the host is ericmurphy.xyz. We've already been over this. And then the directory inside my VPS that I want to put all the files. So I'm using Hugo, but you can really use any static site generator. So basically I'm going to run Hugo first and then push it up to this directory right here inside my VPS. So for me personally, it's slash var slash www slash ericmurphy.xyz. That's the folder. And so these are just variables, and then we're gonna pass this into just one command right here. So we're gonna run Hugo, which is how Hugo builds things. So you would just run the build script for your static site generator. So Hugo, and then that puts everything inside the public directory inside your project. So all the build files are in public, and then we're gonna use rsync-avz and this is just basically telling it to uh, grab all the files and folders, uh, verbalize it so we see what files have all been moved, and then compress it so it doesn't take so long to upload it. Uh, and then this dash dash delete is saying to, uh, if we delete any folders from our local machine, then it'll also be deleted in the VPS. Okay, so rsync dash avz, dash dash delete the folder where the build of your website is and then we're going to put this in root at ericmurphy.xyz 
uh, colon the directory. So this takes all the variables from here and it's basically going to put it exactly in the folder that we want it to. And then once that's done, we just return with exit zero, which basically just says, okay, it was a success. All right, so once we've created this bash script right here, we're going to quit out of that. And then you want to make it executable. So what I do is chmod plus x deploy. So we can now run it as a script actually. And then I'm just going to type dot slash deploy, run the deploy script. As you can see, Hugo has built in 18 milliseconds. Now our sync is working and it's pushed all these files up here to the server. So let's reload this and see if it works. And yeah, we now have this right here, this additional line. So it was a success. And so now every time I want to build and deploy my website, all I got to do is type dot slash deploy. I'm finished working on whatever, upload it, and we're good to go in a matter of seconds. So that's how I do it with the VPS.